Hi guys, I was playing with this little car the other day in a video. I put a motor in it and it runs on the end of a wire. It's wire controlled, so there's no battery in there. The wire is on the end of the... Um, the battery's on the end of the wire where the controller is. And while I was playing around with it, I ended up going round in circles, round myself, while I stood in the middle. It was on the end of the wire and it's going round. And I thought, I could make that into a tethered car. I've done a couple in the past of various different types. So, I've been 3D printing some bits and pieces. And I've got a nice heavy uh, microwave transformer here. And before people start saying, oh, you need to make a, a welder with it or whatever. No, I'm using it as a heavy weight at the moment. So I've printed that. Let's go on there. Won't push it on too hard at the moment. And then in the middle of that, we'll go that. I need to trim the hole a little bit to make it fit. I'll glue that in place. It was just easier to do it in two parts rather than try and print it all in one. And then on top of that, I want that to fit on there, which it does. And then that's going to fit on there, which it doesn't. That's annoying. It should be the right size, but then so many of these things just slightly change. Oh, that is going to fit if I push it. So that's going to fit on there. And then that is going to fit on there. And then that battery should, if I take the sticky off it, should fit in there. I need to clean off all the muck that I've got on there. So that'll be on there. That'll be on there so it can spin around. Some wire. Radio receiver. And we need an ESC as well. So that I can actually switch it on and off from outside the circle. I could just have a battery there with an on-off switch, but I thought, why not go that little bit extra and make it radio control just for fun. So that's what I'm going to do. Stick all that together and see if it works. And then I'll have to put the motor back in there because I took it out. I actually overheated it playing with it, but I fixed the motor so it should be okay now. So I could put it back in.
camera so we can actually film it so it's going to sit back there and the ESC will be down there right need an ESC now nearly ready so ESC in place, battery in place, receiver in place, wire out to the car, motor back in, wired up. So I'll go and find a camera to put in there and we'll put it on the floor. I've just got that the wire squeezed in between a bit of bent paper clip there so we can adjust the length of it. Now to find out if I've got my measurements right. starts to bounce about a bit when I give it full power. I've got to say I'm quite pleased with that. backwards I don't want to I think actually I may have just burnt the motor out yeah <laughs> not getting forwards or backwards okay well that worked apart from burning the motor out because we're running it on a 2s and I think it's only supposed to have a one and a half volt battery on it so we're giving it five times the power it should have It's, yeah, it's too hot to touch. <laughs> it's still running though. Anyway, that's a success. Thanks for watching. 
There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.